first graders in Susan Roberts' class are studying homes. She uses photographs and fine arts prints to help expand their understanding of where people live. Homes from around the world and from various interesting places are included in their study. The read the picture strategy that Susan uses helps to engage children in this lesson. This house belongs to Abraham. Naked. Yeah. Did you remember that? Yeah. Yeah. He, he lived he in a log cabin. cabin. He lived in a log cabin. Do you think this would be a house that we would see now? No. Susan takes the lesson to another level when she has students place the homes in chronological order, thus creating a timeline of the development of homes. All right, let's see. Cammie, would you come hold this one? Yeah. Let's see if we can figure out a timeline for our houses from the oldest to the newest, okay? Oh, which one do you think, Tito? The one with the, do, um, the, the one that Lacey has. Okay, Lacey, come over here. Now, which one do you think, Leah? Um, the one, one with Sarah, because it's new and it has a family. Yeah. But it's Cammie did black and white. So this would be a photograph. Yeah, this, I, I think that should go there, and that one should go there, and, and those should be the newest. Okay. You all did a great job. Now I want you to look very carefully at all of these pictures because you're going to pick one picture. You're going to pick one picture and you're going to write about it. After studying homes using the read the picture strategies, students think about what it is that they like about a particular home. This analysis allows them to take their thinking to a higher level they apply what they have learned and create their own flow map to indicate what they particularly like. Children then share their ideas with a partner before sharing with the whole class.